Members' statements. Member from Davenport. Mr. Speaker, a student tweeted at the member from Parkdale High Park last night asking her to end the college strike. The student wrote, and I quote, Please, Ontario NDP and MPP Sherry DeNovo, for the love of God, let's go back to, let us go back to school. The member's response? That a college degree is worthless. That's right, Mr. Speaker, worthless. The student wrote back asking, and I quote, Respectfully, I'm interested to hear why you say my degree is worthless. Mr. Speaker, every member on this side of this House is interested too. We want to know why the NDP is busy calling college degrees worthless instead of voting to get students back <laughs> to class. We want to know why the NDP is choosing ide ideology over pragmatism, and we want to know why the NDP is refusing to pass this bill today so students can go back to class. I, I would tell the member I'm not particularly enamored when other members mention other members in their writings, and if it happens again, I'll ask them to refrain from doing so. I've told everyone that I'm not enamored by that. It will not happen. Further member statements, the member from the PN Carlton. Very much, Speaker. I am honoured to be here today in this emergency session on behalf of the Progressive Conservative Caucus in unison with the government to ensure that 500,000 college students across Ontario will get back into their classrooms at, at the quickest and the most immediate time that they might be able to do so. Uh, speaker, as you know, uh, Algonquin College Services, my community, and my students' association at Algonquin is very much in favour of this legislation. So to them, I say, we stand with you. Thank you. Further member statements, the member from Trinity Spadina. Uh, thank you, Speaker. I'm honoured to uh, also share some of the uh, uh, tweets we've seen uh, from students uh, in reaction to the NDP's stalling this very important vote. Like us, they're clearly unhappy that NDP is stalling this legislation and blocking, blocking students from being back in class. Natalie writes, it's been five weeks already without a deal. We need to get back in class, support the back-to-work legislation. We have already lost enough time. Brent writes, how about instead of playing politics, you consider what's the best for students they had five weeks and get to get it done. Sarah writes, I want to get back in the classroom to get my life back on track. Forget about the politics. It isn't about wing. It isn't about students' live, uh, students' life. It's about students' life and future. Please just support the legislation. Mike writes, "You blocking is shameful. You put ideology ahead of students." Phil added, "What have you done in the last five weeks to help end the strike? Absolutely nothing. By blocking the legislation, you are clearly showing that you do not care for the students at all." The NDP do not care about Ontario College students' time and money. Mr. Speaker, we agree. Action speaks louder than words, and the NDP's refusal to support this bill shows that they're more concerned Thank you. with political games than Thank getting you. the student back. You see it, please? You see it, please? Further members' statements. The member from Beaches East York. Speaker, I'm pleased to lend my ear to this debate as well because we know why we're here and the only reason we are here is because the NDP party is blocking students from going back to school. And this is a shameful display, Speaker, uh, even from a party that has done many horrible things in the past, but this is a shame because they're playing politics with students, and they're not putting students first. It's also surprising from a party speaker that has supported this legislation in the past. Even the, the current leader of the party in 2008, she and many of her colleagues voted to send striking Toronto transit workers back in one day. And the same type of legislation the NDP supported during the 2002 strike by garbage workers. So, Speaker, at that time, NDP Howard Hampton, the leader at the time, said this is the legislature we have voted for before. It is fair, it is balanced, and we can support it today. Given the record of the NDP in the past, Speaker, I ask, why and what has changed? What has changed to make the NDP think it's right to block students from going back to school? What has changed to make them think they should implore, delay this important legislation? I don't have that answer. 
but the leader of the third party does have an obligation to answer to all the students who are here, all the students who are watching, answer to them and their parents and their grandparents, why is it you will not allow these kids to go back to school? Why are you blocking this like this? Why? Be seated, please. Be seated, please.